Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I just need to quickly tie my boat off the roof. The goal of this video is simple. I want to catch a carp in front of my underwater camera. We have been fishing here for a night and haven't caught anything. So we are heading to another spot. I'm feeling a bit lazy. That's why the boat is going on the roof. Let me secure everything real quick. And then let's get started with the video. So, let me tell you, friends, it's about time for a cheap. Ah. Once again, you realize that a caddy has its limits. It just can't make it up this road. And I already had a feeling about that. But after three tries, I'm now absolutely sure it won't work. So we are taking the alternative route through the stream. In case Chief is watching this, I need a new car. Okay, let's give it another shot. Definitely, we can't make it up this road, so we are carefully reversing it. Hopefully without losing a tire. So far it looks good. And now we are going half a kilometer backwards. There's an alternative path through a small stream and a steep hill. It should work better, but if not, we have a big problem. There's only one option here, and that's full throttle. Poo, that was a tough road. Glad it worked out. Hopefully the worst is behind us. We are going to drive on regular roads. First around the lake to the next spot. We are going to have a relaxed evening for now. And tomorrow morning we will start with underwater filming. Today was already quite hectic and it's getting dark soon. No problem. I've only unpacked the essentials for now. The boat was already ready. Now let's place an underwater camera for at least two hours. Maybe we will have some live bites. But first I need to find a suitable fishing spot. After a good hour, all the rods were placed and then there was silence. Above the water surface, everything was peaceful, with only the chirping of birds, but otherwise, it remained quiet. Below the water surface, it was a different story.
especially on the deep brother with the pop-up. It was only a matter of time. And then it began. We have now cameras on three rods. Just now, one bite on the last one without camera. And now, another one on the water wolf. The pop-up is working. There's the little one that took the pop-up. The plan worked. The second night here at the lake has passed. Yesterday I spent the entire evening diving one camera after another onto the spots. The cameras with lower quality that can be directly mounted to the rod I placed relatively deep because you get more bites there. They were positioned about around 6 meters of water depth. Unfortunately, visibility wasn't always optimal down there. But on two of the recordings a fish bit. I lost one of them during the fight though. I also placed another camera for two hours yesterday. It was right here by the row of the trees. In front of it I was fishing with a small sick rig. That was very interesting because I saw a lot of fish in this area. It's full of vegetation and for the most of the year there's no water there, allowing the vegetation to grow. But now everything is flooded. There's a lot of dead vegetation there right now. With a regular bottom bait it's almost impossible to fish on this spot. However, it works much better with a sick rig above it. Unfortunately, the fish initially showed less interest in the bait. Later on I placed the rod again with a smaller bait. That convinced the first fish. But this fish didn't get hooked, but at least there was a bait pickup. I will definitely be trying this more often this year. If you want to see a different rig in front of the camera, please write it in the comments below. That's it for this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and like this movie.